Welcome back. The U.S. taking a step back from the space race. President Trump is reportedly looking to privatize the International Space Station and end funding for the station by 2025. Our next guest knows a thing or two about the ISS. He spent a year on board. Joining us right now is retired astronaut and U.S. Navy Captain Scott Kelly. Captain, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Good to see you, Maria. Your take on the privatization of the International Space Station. What do you think about that idea? Well, it's really unclear exactly what that means. Um, the, uh, you know, the president and the administration didn't really put out specifics other than we're talking about privatizing the space station. And what that, I think, generally means to, uh, to a lot of people is that you would kind of just turn the keys over to the facility to an outside organization, which I, I personally don't think is very practical. Uh, Captain, uh, can that even be done? Because it's Kevin Kelly here. Uh, w one of the things that, it, with the International Space Station, you have other countries going up there. Like, is it even feasible? Is it even possible that we could do something like this? Because we have Russians up there, and it, it's, it seems like this this cooperative That's where really where a bunch of where a bunch of countries are actually working together on something uh, for the betterment of mankind, as opposed to constantly fighting in the Middle East. Yeah. yeah well, well, there are certain aspects of it we can, and we already do. Um, you know, we turn some of the payload operations over to uh, commercial organizations. We have uh, turned the resupply of the space station over to uh, two companies, uh, SpaceX and, and Orbital mm -hmm. ATK on the U.S. side of the space station. So there are certain parts we can we can make commercial, but this notion that you could just turn the most complicated uh, vehicle we've ever built that was built and uh, based on this international partnership is, um, you know, I don't think is really possible. I mean, keep in mind, this is the most uh, complicated thing we've ever built. It would be kind of like if you took like a, uh, the crew of a, a, a cruise liner, perhaps, and said, okay, you're going to start operating a, a U.S. aircraft carrier. Um, it's not something that seems at all very practical to me. Captain Kelly, Aaron Elmer here. Good morning. My son, who's four years old, wants to be an astronaut, so you're a huge hero in my house. Having said that, we've spent $100 billion on the International Space Station since the 90s alone. And I know we have international partners. Us leaving this, how would that impact our international partners and people around the world? Yeah, it would have an impact, certainly. And we uh, are in this... Uh you know, program uh, based on international agreements. It's one of the greatest things about the space station is we're about we're able to do this uh, cutting edge science with this international partnership in a common ground. Um, and it was very expensive to build, and we're just getting to the point where we can utilize it and do great science, and uh, you know, realize the importance of this space station for future exploration goals and to. To say, and I'm not sure the administration is saying this, I didn't read this anywhere, but to say you could just basically turn the whole thing over to a company and walk away is, um, I think it's a kind of a misplaced idea for many reasons. Yeah, but isn't um, it the private, many that you but, but Captain, isn't it the private sector that's really been at the forefront of this anyway, space exploration? You look at Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin, you look at Elon Musk's SpaceX. Last week, SpaceX launched the Falcon Heavy rocket to much mm -hmm. fanfare and success, especially putting a Tesla on the rocket. So what's wrong with the private sector owning the International Space Station? Well, I'm not saying anything's wrong with it, but uh, I'm not sure you could find a company that would be willing to take on the, uh, you know, the operation and maintenance costs of the space station. For an example, $1.1 billion a year. The transportation costs for the crew and cargo, another $1.5 billion. Yeah, and a government sure. can do this kind of research and make this kind of investment because we can think long term. Yeah, hey, they what can is kick the, the can down and, the road. <laughs> yeah, a, you know, a, a corporate board or even the CEO is not going to like uh, having to, um, you know, write a $2.5 billion check that has maybe a, a return on it 10 years later. But, Captain, if you look at, I mean, if you look at the Falcon Heavy, I mean, right. we would have never gotten here if the corporate board of, of uh, SpaceX didn't get over a bunch of their uh, mis, uh, misfortunes earlier on. I mean, they had rockets blow up, and then all of a sudden, I, w I was in shock and awe when, when, when I saw the two of the boosters land simultaneously. What did you make of that? Oh, I thought it was incredible. I think it's a game changer. Um, you know, the SpaceX is a little bit different because it's, you know, it's run by basically one one uh, very uh, clever guy, Elon Musk, and he can 
you know, make decisions and, and do things that, uh, you know, traditional companies might not be able to do. Um, but I was very impressed with, uh, you know, the, the Falcon 9 Heavy. I thought, you know, I just thought it was great and uh, very exciting. But again, you know, going back to the space station, it is a, a very, very complicated piece of hardware that I think any company that took that over, if you could even find someone that would be willing to spend $2.5 billion a year just to keep the lights on, um, you know, they would immediately be looking back to NASA and say, hey, you got to help us operate this thing because this is just so incredibly mm -hmm. complicated. And I think unless you've worked on it or mm -hmm. if you've lived on it, you really don't get the idea of the sophistication of this facility. And again, you know, walking away from, uh, you know, a hundred billion dollar investment, I don't think is ever a good idea. All right, we'll leave it there. Captain, good to see you, sir. Thanks so much. Thank you. Scott Kelly joining us there.